And an historic moment for India, Indian Space Research Organization on Thursday successfully performed the docking of satellites as part of the Space Docking Experiment or SPADEX. Earlier on 12th of January, ISRO brought the two spacecraft to three meters and then moved them back to safe distance in its trial attempt to dock the satellites. ISRO had successfully launched the space docking experiment SPEDEX mission on December 30th, 2024. Well, the PSLV C-60 rocket carrying two small satellites, SDX-01 Chaser and SDX-02 Target, along with 24 payloads, had lifted off from the first launch pad of the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. And about 15 minutes after liftoff, the two small spacecraft weighing about 220 kgs each were launched into a 475 kilometer circular orbit as intended. Well, India became the fourth country to achieve successful space docking. Well, we may tell you again, and in a historic moment for India, Indian Space Research Organization on Thursday successfully performed the docking of satellites as part of the Space Docking Experiment or SPEDEX. And earlier on January 12th, ISRO brought the two spacecraft to three meters and then moved them back to the safe distance in a trial attempt to dock the satellites. And now Anbarasan joins us for more on this. Well, Anbarasan, successful docking of satellites, uh, which was much awaited. Tell us more on that. Uh, Lipakshi, very uh, happy news has came from ISRO has announced that it successfully completed this uh, docking of a uh, SpaceX mission. And uh, as it uh, at 10.30 p.m. right uh, at night, and the first launch was uh, scheduled on January 7th and also 12th. And a uh, few days before, we have seen that that two space SpaceX uh, satellite has came nearly just three meters away. And after again, the ISRO has uh, taken back for the uh, data analysis, and they will said that uh, into uh, as announcement that they will be taking a various analysis of this uh, launch. And after that, uh, they will be taking further. And today morning, nearly around uh, early morning, uh, eight or they didn't give an exact time where, when it's docked uh, successfully. Uh, as uh, ISRO has tweeted uh, 10 minutes before, it said that uh, successfully the both satellites are uh, docked. Uh, and it will be a very helpful for the uh, Indian Space Research Organization. And also, it's uh, one of the fourth country after US, Russia, and China. This is the fourth country to successfully. That is the one of the very proud moment for the Indian Space Research Organization and also for the country. And it will be a kind of way forward to that uh, Indian Space uh, International Center in our space. So it will be a boosting for that. And uh, the ISRO chairman also tweeted and regarding that. So it's a continuous growth towards uh, making a space center in uh, International Solar Station uh, near that. So it will be a very complex mission, as, uh, as you mentioned in the report, I said that uh, it's a nearly 400 uh, uh, kilogram of weight satellites. Both will be uh, moving towards nearly in a sphere, uh, nearly 2,000, 29,000 uh, speed of velocity. So it's a very complex mission because uh, making the same speed of both and also slowing another spacecraft reaching towards a very nearby, if in for motion or also any speed speed up on that, it will be a crash together or it will be taking some time to release. So it will be a fuel efficiency will be decreased. Uh, so it will be a very complex mission for uh, ISRO one of that because uh, we have launched uh, Moon or Chandrayaan or uh, various other uh, mission but this fairest mission is one of the kind that is uh, happening on India uh, Earth orbit so it will be a very important one so we can show sure, sure that it will be a uh, launching towards uh, or marching towards a uh, sp Indian space center to build around uh, the space so it will be boosting and we can expect more develop on this and after that uh, we will be sending various uh, docking missions so completing that uh, the process of uh, uh, Antrik uh, mission on uh, 
space with much Absolutely, Anbar. It's an historic moment for India there in the space sector as India becomes the fourth country to achieve successful space docking. And India with this has joined an elite group of nations about successfully completing a space docking mission with its FedEx. Uh, what about the technological capabilities? How beautifully are we growing on that? Uh, this uh, this FedEx mission mostly focusing on that uh, making a, a, a Bharati Antarctic station. So it kind of a way forward to that. So and this is our nearly a 449 uh, kilogram of space, spacecraft both. And uh, this four, uh, both will be you now circulating in uh, Earth orbit nearly a uh, 29,000 uh, kilometer per hour velocity. So you can assume that it will be a very uh, moving fast. So doing that speed and uh, uh, making a docking on that level is a very important and also a very complex mission. In that way, you know, we need to uh, uh, you know, kind of say that ISRO is done very tremendously this one. And uh, uh, particularly, this will be a continuous forward because we have done various uh, PSLV, DSLV uh, launches uh, and we are also going to launch in very soon on uh, Jan 25th. So kind of a continuous go towards that and uh, the ISRO is a, it's a very long process of uh, making a, a, a solar a space station in the Antarctic station. And so it's a kind of a very a small step towards that. Uh, kind of continuously growing on that, it will be very big helpful for the making because we are a very few countries that uh, made these kind of uh, developments. So it's kind of one of the developments for the humankind level also. So making a fourth country is one of the huge uh, success and also these uh, two satellites, uh, SpaceX is kind of a docking, I, I already said that, a very complex mission because uh, the Somnath so chairman also said that it is not a very easy task to do it because a lot of uh, person has asked that uh, why it delayed uh, every time and uh, it not uh, shown on uh, perfectly on particular time when it's going to launch, when it's going to dock. So it is kind of a level that uh, I said that it's taking some process and analysis after that only because it's very precision, very precisely need to be docked. If anything uh, goes wrong, it will be uh, taking another uh, launch and take more. Uh, so it's uh, kind of a very well planned ISRO is done. And uh, we need to thank for that and also very proudly say that uh, ISRO is launched and completed that uh, this uh, PayDex mission launch. All right, absolutely proud moment there. And Marisan, you just stay with us. Uh, meanwhile, we tell our viewers that Union Minister of State, Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh, has congratulated ISRO on the success he posted on X. Congrats, ISRO finally made it. SpedEx has accomplished the unbelievable docking complete. And it is all indigenous, Bharatiya docking system. This paves the way for smooth conduct of ambitious future missions, including the Bharatiya Antrik Station, Chandrayaan 4 and Gaganyaan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's continuous patronage keeps the spirits soaring here at Bengaluru. Union Minister of State Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Prasad, has congratulated. Sorry, Dr. Jitendra Singh has congratulated ISRO on the success. He posted on X, congrats, ISRO finally made it. SpedEx has accomplished the unbelievable docking complete and it is all indigenous Bharatiya docking system. This paves the way for smooth conduct of ambitious future missions, including the Bharatiya Antrik Station, Chandrayaan 4 and Gaganyaan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's continuous patronage keeps the spirits soaring here at Bangalore. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi also tweeted, and I quote, congratulations to our scientists at ISRO and the entire space fraternity for the successful demonstration of space docking of satellites. It is a significant stepping stone for India's ambitious space missions in the years to come, unquote. Well, a great day for India and Prime Minister Narendra Modi 
congratulated the nation and he Port quoted on X and I quote, congratulations to our scientists at ISRO and the entire space fraternity for the successful demonstration of space docking of satellites. It is a significant stepping stone for India's ambitious space missions in the years to come. And we are joined by Anbarasan again. Anbarasan, uh, the docking process, of course, was executed with precision, uh, beginning with the spacecraft's maneuver from a 15-meter hold point to a 3-meter docking position. And the success of this mission paves the way for more ambitious missions. Could you tell us more about the docking process and what's all, what all is being planned for the future there? Uh, when we launched that, it's expected uh, to reach nearly 250 meter near and uh, the first uh, on uh, January 7th and uh, January 12th, uh, we assume it went nearly 3 meter and taken back and after that it's a 7 kilometer distance. So it's a kind of that uh, both satellites, uh, it's a kind of a tractor and uh, it named at that. So it will be reaching one satellite will be tracking another. So once it both came near, it will, it will be docked. So that is what uh, it says. But it various attempts are made and nearly to, uh, three meter is uh, you just assume in space that how, how near that and also again it taken back and uh, the data analysis and uh, because we, the ISRO person, the ISRO side, they said that uh, it will be taking further uh, for more uh, analysis because suddenly if anything happens, so we are just taking that. So this today morning, uh, they did uh, very successfully just uh, uh, as they planned it. Uh, this continuous, uh, the two satellites, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's a nearly a 400 uh, gram, uh, kilogram weight of satellite, so heavy weight on both sides. Uh, one will be the tractor, tracker uh, satellite will be uh, going towards following the aim and the aim is the another satellite. Once it both uh, connected very nearly, then it will be docked successfully. That is what the explanation has given by Ishto and both uh, continuously uh, tracking because you know, uh, the December 30th launch until now they are continuously doing the tracking and uh, uh, it's not other just uh, systems, uh, other launches like that because uh, it need a uh, continuous monitoring and also going through us, uh, various data and after only if they found uh, everything is correct and a particular time and all, they docked successfully. So that is the exact time uh, today, the morning they docked successfully. Uh, and uh, as you mentioned that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has continuously, uh, as Chandrayaan 2 uh, uh, happened, uh, uh, Prime Minister mentioned that it's continuously uh, giving a boost towards uh, ISRO's various launches and uh, we have successfully launched the Chandrayaan 3 and various boosting on Aditya and Mangalyaan. So we have uh, various uh, missions particularly focusing on ISRO's uh, successful career and this docking of SpaceX mission is also one of that. So we can assume that uh, kind of boosting towards and also the ISRO launches are uh, more and more and precision and also commercializing various parts. So we are not only launching our own uh, satellites and various things, we are also taking other various countries. So it's a kind of uh, globally we are also making various uh, points and uh, connecting various, uh, we have launched various uh, African nations and also Southeast Asian nations. So we are taking their satellites and also launching. So it's a kind of a globally and making various imprints and also for ASTRO, it's a kind of a very important one, Lepak. All right, Anbarasan. Indeed, a historic day for India. Thank you so much.